Hey guys, what's up? I have been using the Meizu M3 Note for around three months now and in this video I talk about my experience with this device. First, let's talk about the hardware. The hardware of this device has held up really very well. The device looks and feels premium in hand especially with its all aluminium unibody and slim profile. I have been using a silicon case with this device from the past one month and also a tempered glass screen protector was used for a month. The phone has fallen down several times but the screen did not crack. The aluminium body also took the abuse pretty nicely. The aluminium bag doesn't tend to scratch up pretty easily and even the plastic top and bottom are pretty much scratch resistant. And there is absolutely no scratches even after using the 3.5mm audio jack and the charging cable every day. The quality of the display is top notch and the best part about it is its brightness, sunlight legibility and the 2.5D glass which looks so premium. It doesn't have Gorilla Glass protection but certainly there is some kind of protective glass with oleophobic coating which is why the display is scratchless. The loudspeaker of this device is very loud and you will certainly never miss a call on this device. All I can say is there is only one negative in the hardware section which is the lack of a separate dual SIM card and SD card slot but that too is taken care of with the 32 GB of onboard storage and if you are a single SIM user like me then this hybrid SIM card slot won't bother you. Now let's talk about the call quality and signal reception. Both have been top notch and I never faced connectivity issues in call or data. Even the Wi-Fi reception was very good. Now coming to the UI, the UI is one of the best parts of this device and it is very light and snappy but in the same time very feature rich and vibrant. First time users will find it a little different from traditional Android layout but you will get used to it pretty soon. It also supports on-screen gestures which will definitely make your life easy. Every tool and utility such as compass, flashlight, mirror, level gauge, magnifier and even a ruler is inbuilt and you will not have to download any such thing from the Play Store. The notification panel has almost all the shortcuts that you will ever need and you will rarely need to go to the settings menu but even with all such features the device has almost no bloatware. I have done a dedicated review of FlyMe 5 which is the operating system on the Meizu M3 node and link to it is in the description of this video. Now let's talk about the fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner has been integrated in the M back button which is below the display. This button is a combination of a back key, a home key and a fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner is very fast and accurate. The speed and accuracy of this fingerprint scanner is comparable to devices which cost upwards of 25,000 Indian rupees. You can check out the fingerprint scanner's speed test that I did between the Meizu M3 Note and Galaxy A5 2016, link to which available in the description of this video. Now coming to the performance of the device. This phone is very snappy and fast. I have done several speed and multitasking performance comparisons between this device and several other devices but that was with the 2GB RAM model which was a review unit provided by Meizu. The 3GB RAM model which is the retail unit definitely has some good multitasking performance. Overall I did not face any lags nor did I face any heating issues in regular day to day use. Now talking about the gaming performance, the gaming performance of this device is mediocre. You can easily play regular games such as Subway Surfers, Temple Run and Pokemon Go. But the more graphics intensive games such as Asphalt 8 cannot be played smoothly at high graphics settings. Battery performance. The battery performance of this device is insane. With 4000 mAh of capacity, this device will give you an amazing battery life with a screen on time of more than 7 hours. And it will easily last you for two days. The charger provided in the box charges the device pretty fast and you will get a 0 to 100 charge in two hours flat. I have done an in-depth battery performance review of the Meizu M3 Note, link to which is in the description of this video. Now talking about the camera performance, the camera performance of the Meizu M3 Note from the front and rear camera is very good. The camera UI is very simple and easy and there is zero shutter lag. You will get a lot of options ranging from beauty mode to GIFs. The picture quality is pretty nice. Both the cameras are capable of shooting 1080p videos so that is a nice thing. You can find links to dedicated camera review of Meizu M3 node in the description of this video. Final verdict. 
The Meizu M3 Note is the best device to buy under 10,000 Indian rupees. I had a great time with the Meizu M3 Note in the past three months. It is certainly one of the best devices under 15,000 rupees. The highlighting features of the Meizu M3 Note is the premium design, excellent battery life and an awesome user interface. But there's one negative point to it, which is the lack of availability. It is very difficult to buy. If you're planning to buy this device, you can check out the link in the description of this video. This was a long term review of the Meizu M3 Note. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your views in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.